it's weird to have the results and not know what to do with them. It's really weird. So I'm going to be quite honest with you guys. I have been delaying this video. Um, this is going to be my trying to conceive with PCOS update. Um, but I have literally been delaying this video. And I'm sorry if you have been waiting for like the MRI results or the lab results um, for my cycle day 3 and 21. Um, so I'm sorry. I have been delaying this video. Not that I don't want to share with you guys. It's just going to make it more official, I guess, if I put it out there. And I... I'm feeling some kind of way. I don't know how, I guess I'm feeling sad. I wouldn't say depressed, but I've been feeling down. Well, I guess it is, I don't know. I've been feeling sad and down because I don't know what to do with my PCOS diagnosis. I, the doctor, like I have TRICARE. So I go on a military base and she's my healthcare provider. And she has a doctor title, but, um, like the gynecologist, like she gave me my pap smear, so I thought maybe, okay, she gynecologist. But she, that's not, I guess it's not in her expertise. So I feel like she should be referring me to a gynecologist, and maybe I'll bring it up, bring it up to her later. But right now, I just, my PCOS, I was diagnosed last month, and that's it i was just diagnosed there's no this is what we're going to do this is how we're going to help you this is this this is why this is this like none of that so i feel extremely lost when it comes to pcos i know there's a bunch of information out there on the internet and it just it's just going to get more confusing once i tell you my my lab work but um i just don't know what to do so I'm, I feel stuck. I feel like, I don't know. I just feel stuck. But anyway, so my last video, I got an MRI and the MRI was to see it, to, I guess, take a better look at the PCOS, to get a better look at my uterus area, my pelvic area. And, um, yeah. So with that being said, um, I wrote down this, the information, so I definitely have PCOS. Um, there was something on my ovaries that they were looking to also look at for the MRI, but whatever it was, it's gone. It took care of itself, so I have no idea what that was. Um, my lining of my uterus looks good, so they're not worried about that. And when they were also in there on my... When they were doing the MRI, they also found something else on my femur, which I could not make out the word at first, but I believe she was saying now, because I've heard the word 10 million times now, that it was a benign, or it could be a benign tumor. So from there, I had to get another MRI done that focused just on that. So I have not one, but two lesions that are a centimeter and a half long that are, I guess, on my femur, somewhere near my pelvic area. So I had to get that looked into. So I actually got, I don't know how to say if it's PET or PET, but it's a PT scan. I, I guess they were thinking maybe it could be cancer. I don't know, but I don't have cancer. There's no cancer in me, thank God, because I don't want to have to go through that again. But there's still those two lesions on me. So she referred me to an orthopedic. The orthopedic has now referred me to an orthopedic surgeon so I have no idea what's going to go on with those two lesions um, they're definitely not cancer I'm guessing the orthopedic might have thought that it was going to be cancer but as soon as he said that word I'm like no I already got that the PT scan and it showed nothing or whatever so I don't know what the surgeon's going to say so I'm also worried about that I'm stressed about that so anyway. but so one thing led to another that led to another so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, my cycle day three blood work. Um, I don't have the numbers. She did not give me the numbers. I don't have the numbers. I probably should ask for those numbers. But this is what she said. The estrogen and other hormones are good. 
So I don't know what other mean, what those other hormones are. I have no clue, but she said they were good. Um, the proactin levels are good, thyroid are good, and I have um, good, oh, I still have good ovaries, so that's good. My cycle day 21 levels are also good. So I have PCOS, but all my levels are good. So confusing, right? Because I feel like a lot of people might have... I really thought she was going to tell me that my testosterone was a little bit higher because I do have facial hair. It's not aggressive like in some cases, but like I have a stash. I have hair in other places that should not have hair, but it's there. Again, in any of the and insulin resistant. I'm not sure how to get tested for that. So I, if you guys know, if you've been tested for insulin, um, yeah, let me know about that, how to get tested for that. Which, what should I do? Because I, I literally don't know. And it's so frustrating that my doctor doesn't know. So I don't know. So I don't know what to do. Cause that's the only thing I could think of next would be that which I think had something to do with testosterone too, but I don't know. But anyway, apparently I did ovulate, so that was good to know, but they asked me if I wanted to continue on with going to a fertility clinic. Now the military clinic, um, it's just a discount. I'm just gonna get a discount, whether we do IUI or IVF, it's just a discount. It's not gonna be free. It's not all gonna be covered. It's gonna be a discounted rate, which is awesome and which is great, but I just don't know about going three hours away. If I go somewhere locally, it's not gonna be colored, covered. The office visits alone itself will be covered, but nothing else. That's it, just the office visits will be covered. So, locally right now would definitely be easier. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, we haven't officially made up our minds, but we'll see. I just feel like, I feel like I need to get my PCOS under control before I even go to a fertility clinic. I just feel like, if I just went straight to a fertility clinic, I am skipping over a step because I have PCOS. So I think I need with, so I think I need, I think I just need to go to a gynecologist. I don't know if she will be able to help me, but maybe she'll be able, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, also let me know if you and your gynecologist are the ones that are figuring out PCOS. Um, if your gynecologist has helped you, let me know because again, I don't know what doctor I should turn to. I, I'm, I'm assuming a gynecologist, but yeah. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Those are my, my results. Um, again, I don't know what's gonna happen with the lesions I do on my hip. Um, it's really funny that she even brought up anything about my hip because I was actually gonna tell her when she gave me that the MRI results for like the uterus and pelvic and stuff like that. I was actually gonna talk to her about my hip pain because I do have hip pain. Um, it's bearable, thank God, but I do have a high pain tolerance, but um, I was actually gonna bring it up to her. And she's like, well, do you have it in your right hip? I was like, yep. And that's when she told me about the lesion. So, um, so I have no idea what's gonna happen with that. I have no idea what I'm gonna do about fertility clinic. Um, but this is just kind of where I'm at. I have, I have my results. I just don't know what to do with them, especially with PCOS mainly. Um, Cause everything else looks good. So the only thing that I guess is stopping me is the PCOS. The, I guess having ovaries, I mean, cyst on my ovaries. Is that still considered PCOS? I mean, I do have other symptoms. Like my period never comes the same time. It's the cycle length is always different. And I know that's a symptom, so I don't know. But sorry this video was not more helpful if you were coming to this channel to look for advice or help, but this is, I'm new to this. This is my journey. It's not gonna make any sense along the way because I don't know what I'm gonna I'm doing because my doctor doesn't know what to do so um, 
maybe somebody can relate because you got you are in the same situation as me at the very beginning. So hope maybe we can go through this together. Um, yeah, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Um, I hope to see you guys in my next video. I will keep you guys updated. Again, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but yeah. If you want me to go in more detail about anything else, like I already have my MRI experience, but now that I have two in my pocket now, um, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. If you want me to do another video on my MRI experience or something, I don't know, whatever you want to do, especially the um, PT scan. I never even heard of it. I didn't even know what it did until I researched it. So if you guys want more information on that or my experience on that one, please let me know and I would be happy to make a video on that for you um, or answer any of your questions. But that is all I have for you today on this updated, um, trying to can see with PCOS video. Um, yeah, so. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. There'll be a little circle, I think, on this side of the screen that you can click on to subscribe. And my last video, I think, will be on this side. So don't forget to watch that either. It's actually pretty funny. It's definitely a lot more upbeat than this video. So check it out. And I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.